What if I told you that your next Netflix binge could be more than just entertainment, it could be a career change. Imagine being part of a team that decides which shows get the green light or the brains behind that eerily accurate recommendation algorithm. Picture yourself working on the platform that changed how the world consumes entertainment, all from the comfort of your own home. And stick around because I'm about to reveal seven exciting remote jobs currently available at Netflix. And who knows, your next binge watch could lead to your next paycheck. I'm listening, I'm listening. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and smash the like button and let's jump into it. Before we dive into these exciting opportunities, I do wanna mention something important. While these specific job postings may expire over time, they give us a great idea of the types of remote roles that Netflix typically offers. So even if these exact positions aren't available when you're watching, similar opportunities are likely to pop up in the future. All right. Now let's get into these juicy Netflix jobs. Right on. First up, we have the live content analysts. Now, Netflix is one of the world's leading entertainment services with 278 million paid memberships in over 190 countries. And as a live content analyst, you'll be the eyes and ears mm. of Netflix live content. So let's look at the key responsibilities. First of all, analyze, tag, research, and write detailed insights for live series and events before, during, and after the events. And you'll be doing things like WWE Raw and live comedy specials. And the best part, this is a remote position. And believe it or not, you can make anywhere from 70 to $370,000 a year. Now chances are you're gonna start at the bottom of that spectrum, but it does show that you have a lot of career opportunity down the line once you get some experience and once you build the skills. Next is a technology sourcing specialist. And this is going to be for all you tech savvy negotiators out there. So Netflix is currently looking for this position and let's look at what they're expecting. As a technology sourcing specialist, you'll be a part of a team responsible for driving centralization of our software spend across Netflix, managing existing and new vendor relationships and ensuring Netflix is reaping optimal value from its technology investments. Basically, you're the deal maker saving Netflix big bucks on tech. Now it shows on Glassdoor that this position pays anywhere from 100,000 to 700,000 dollars a year. Damn! Now obviously you're going to be starting off at the lower end of that spectrum and obviously this is not one that you can get into right away, but it does show that Netflix for some of these top level positions can pay really well. So it's a company that you can really progress in your career with. And the next one on the list is a little bit more realistic for most people to get into, although it's still a pretty high level position and that's machine learning engineer. Now for all of you AI enthusiasts and data wizards, Netflix is always on the hunt for talented machine learning engineers and your job would be to enhance Netflix personalization systems. Now let's look at some key responsibilities. First of all, create scalable production ready ML solutions, taking algorithms from initial concept through the deployment in Netflix's large scale real time systems. Also design and conduct offline experiments and AB tests to validate the impact of algorithm changes on the key business metrics. And you can imagine being the reason behind Netflix's scary accurate recommendations. That would be pretty cool, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, just as an example, here's an experienced candidate seeking guidance for a Netflix ML engineer interview, and they receive advice on what to expect during the hiring process, including a deep dive into past projects and potential technical assessments. And the salary range for this role, usually about $100,000 to $180,000 a year. So yeah, really good money. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's really good. Now, realistically, these first three are not gonna be accessible to most people out there, but I just wanted to put those out there just to show you that there are a lot of really good work from home job opportunities available. This next one, on the other hand, is going to be accessible to a lot of other people, and that is a business visa associate. And this role is perfect for those interested in global business and immigration. Now let's look at what you'd be doing. First, research and advise on visa and immigration requirements, primarily for outbound travel from America, and be prepared to support EMEA, which is Europe, Middle East, Africa, and APAC, which is Asia Pacific, as needed. You'll be the go-to person for making international business travel smooth for Netflix employees. And this is really exciting because this job is unlike anything you've heard of. And if the previous jobs on the list are hard to come by, this one is even more elusive. And the range for this role is seventy dollars to $350,000 a year. Hey, don't take it up with me. It's right there on the page. A significant amount of money. Next is going to be a data scientist. And this one is for you number crunchers out there because your insights could influence which shows get the green light next. So let's look at some of your key responsibilities. First of all, analyze vast amounts of user data to derive insights. Second, develop models to predict user behavior and preferences. Third, collaborate with various teams to implement data-driven solutions. And the salary range for data scientists at Netflix, 117 to $195,000 a year, not bad. Not bad, not bad. 
Now you. Now, by the way, if you want to learn some of the skills that are going to lead you to landing some of these types of jobs, I'd highly recommend that you check out Coursera. For instance, to analyze data, you could take the Google Data Analyst Professional Certificate. This is what I basically tell everybody who wants to get into data. You can check it out. It'll be down in the description in the pen comment below. And on Coursera, a lot of the time you can audit the courses completely free. And if you do want to actually get the certificate, there's a seven day free trial. So as long as you can get it done within that window or within the first few months, it's going to be either free or very affordable. So definitely check that out down in the description and the pen comment below. Next is going to be a content metadata specialist. And these are the unsung heroes behind Netflix's recommendation algorithm. Because while the data scientists and the machine learning engineers are sort of like the wizards behind the curtain, the content metadata specialists do all the heavy lifting. And let's look at what this job entails. Analyzing, tagging, researching, and writing detailed insights for series and events, as well as having your finger on the pulse with regard to current affairs and cultural moments. And this role requires a keen eye for detail and a passion for all things entertainment. And this one is actually accessible for a lot of people out there, unlike a lot of the other ones on this list. And here's an experienced metadata specialist seeking new challenges, and they receive some encouraging advice about the transferability of their skills to exciting roles in smaller music industry companies potentially leading to a more engaging and well-rounded career path. And the salary range, you're going to make anywhere from forty-four dollars to $65,000 a year, which is pretty good considering you can get into this at the entry level relatively easily. Now, next, we've got the technical experience specialist. This role is about supporting Netflix staff with their tech needs, and it's going to be a lot easier to get into than a lot of the other ones on the list. So let's look at the key responsibilities. First of all, you could serve as a primary point of contact for users seeking technical assistance. You could also recognize and connect patterns in how users experience technology across first and third party technologies, and you can recommend and or implement experience improvements, make feature requests, and bring attention to opportunities to create self-service solutions. So you'll basically be the tech hero that keeps Netflix running smoothly behind the scenes. So in this example, as a company technical specialist, he spends his day solving technical issues, upgrading systems, and helping employees navigate common tech problems all while introducing more efficient software solutions. And the salary range for this role? About fifty-four dollars to $88,000 a year. So yeah, this one pays pretty well. Now, some of these jobs are on the upper level, mid-level, and some of them, of course, are more entry level. But no matter what type of job you're trying to get into, you always want to be learning more and skilling up. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to get certs. And the company I always recommend getting certs from is Coursera. And it doesn't matter whether you're entry level, mid-level, or even at the very top of your career, they offer incredible certificates for you to upgrade your skills. So definitely Definitely check them out. I'll put some of my favorite ones that I recommend down in the description and the pinned comment below that can help you land these jobs. And by the way, I did make a video on some of the absolute best certificates out there that can help you land a job. And you can check that out by clicking right here.